<laughs> We're making it work. Okay, good. Uh, STLtoday.com is where you can watch the show. Go to the opinion tab. Go to KTS.com. And, of course, uh, KPLR 11.2 that just got finished playing Inherit the Wind with Spencer Tracy and uh, Gene Kelly, one of the best movies of ever. Uh, that's channel 187 on your charter communications uh, system. Don't forget to download our app. And, of course, always open uh, 550 on your AM dial. The Dow is up 187. The S&P is up... Um, yeah, the S and P is up as well as the um, uh, the the Nasdaq is up uh, as well. Big uh, this morning, Nasdaq up sixty one, and the S and P up about twenty something. All right, uh, David Hunt, St. Louis Post Dispatch. You have an exclusive story in the paper posted yesterday. It was also like sent out as a as a breaking story yesterday as well. I got a I got a notice a little, a on little, my uh, phone. Phone blip. Yeah, a little phone blip and I ended, I, re- I read it moments after you posted it yesterday. Yep. Um and they came to you or you came to them or you sat down with uh the powers that be and you have seen the promised land. <laughs> you have seen the billion dollar stadium. So I think that you know there's a lot of um, praise and a lot of criticism that goes back and forth about the stadium project. Yes. And uh, I, I will give them a lot of credit for constantly changing their design, constantly yeah. you know um, adjusting and growing. I mean, think about how it's changed from the first time we ever saw a design in January, right? When it was kind of this riverboat perched on land right. next to the Mississippi, right? Right. And, um, and now look at it, it. You know, it's much different. It's got a, a that glass entryway that looks like almost um, the Minnesota Stadium or the Atlanta Stadium. So you, as you're, you know, it's got these kind of flyover bridges. I mean, it, it, right. you know, I mean, there's a lot of, there's, there's a lot of room to talk about, you know, exactly how this has happened politically. But I, I have a hard time with people being overly critical of the design. I agree with you. The design is magnificent. I mean, it is beautiful. It is it is as elegant and as beautiful as any other NFL stadium. I've been to the Meadowlands. I've been to Jerry Jones' stadium down in Dallas. Now, Glenn, this isn't built, and I've only seen the pictures that right. were on the, the website. But, yeah, devil's in the details. Um, but just in terms of, of structure and beauty and where it is, it's really, really cool. Right there on the Mississippi with all that, that history. They've also announced, and you can sort of talk on this for a moment, they've sort of announced that they're going to have parking lots that right. more or less double as green parks right. as so, well. You know, I mean, I think they, yeah, again, I give them a lot of credit. They take a lot of criticism, and they've used that criticism to change the design. Right. So uh, people complained that it's just going to be a, a stadium um, surrounded by a sea of parking lots. Well, what have they done? They've made public plazas, bridges that right. stem into the stadium and then instead of parking lots they're they're at least playing with the idea of making these green spaces uh, you know parks where right. with a raised um parking uh you know markings right so you can actually drive onto them and you see your little white lines and stuff and you park in your spot but it's a but it's a grass it's green right it's it's fan- it's beautiful it's fantastic they're, now what's this brew pub they're talking yeah. about what's so this when you about? walk up so if you're coming in from like the edward jones dome section you, you you take a bridge across from the jones dome okay. over the highway okay and you cross into the land and as you're walking up it's this huge p- public plaza at least that's how it's envisioned now right well the the entryway now is a three-story glass facade okay and that right behind it is this three-story brew pub now hold, let's pause for a second that's yes. just the in what's envisioned right mm-hmm, right uh, um th- as we know the single stickiest part of this is we don't know if we have an owner yet no 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 we'll, we'll get to all that we'll get to all that <laughs> so we, it could not be it might not be a brew pub when it's all said and done the right. owner will make these decisions right it's interesting because the brew pub that is already there the morgan brewery their owners are selling the the, uh, the brew pub, That's which is point. which is a half a block from where this new brew pub is going to be. Sounds built. like an opportunity for somebody. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, and they've they've dealt with the flooding and the the right. barge traffic and the 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 old buildings there and the the bike paths and everything else. This beautiful thing. They also in your article you also said that this has got to be ready to shovel, ready to go. Like, they're, they're saying June 2019. June of 
No, no, that's when's the shovel going to go in the ground? Oh, oh like I'm sorry, February uh, of next year. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah so 20, yeah, Feb 2016. So we're we're three, four, five months away from the shovel in the ground. Yeah. All you need is an NFL owner to say yes, I want to come to. All St. you Louis. need is a lot of stuff to happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, I, as pretty as this design is, and I'm sure that there are people who have valid criticisms of the design, right? Like I'm not an architect. Sure. Um, please call me, and I will be happy to talk to you about those criticisms, but. Let's just say for a second that the design's perfect. I'm not saying it is, but let's say it is. Right. There's so much still that has to happen. Okay, so let's get to that for a second. David Hun, St. Louis Post Dispatch re- reporter who has forgotten more about this stuff than we will ever know. <laughs> uh, the, the, it sounds like when you talk to the people within the governor's task force and everybody else, that they're one board of aldermen vote away from having this wrapped up and done. Yeah, so we expect, uh, uh, so in the city, there's so many different parts here, right? There's mm-hmm. the city stuff, there's the state stuff, there's the NFL stuff. Right. In the city, um, the Board of Aldermen are going to get that bill on their, supposedly, on their desk September 11th when they come back from break. Okay, so next um, week. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. So, I mean, we, you, they have days. Well, I, they have not written the bill yet. <laughs> so they need to write the bill. Well, why would they? <laughs> so... And, and moreover, the city is swamped. I mean, you know, there's a few other issues in the city right now. None more important than a billion-dollar stadium for an owner who won't so, talk to us. I just talked to city staff, and they're like, listen, we, we're not, like, the, the stadium crowd has to write this bill. Right. Like, we have other things going on. Yes. So you guys got to write the bill. Hey, can you write the bill so we can pass it so you people can build your stadium? And then they're going to need, and that is pretty kind of, you know, somewhat common. Sure. And then, uh, and then they're going to need to get a, a, a lobbyist. So, so they got to get a lobbyist to... Go to, to all the aldermen this through, then. And, and talk to all the aldermen yeah. about it. It's not a... Listen, there are some aldermen who don't like this plan. I do not expect it to get a large contingent of angry aldermen right. against it. I can't imagine. But, I don't but, think so. Okay. But the bigger issue, and, I'm, uh, uh, and I, I've yet to hear a legitimate answer to this, is and, uh, and it's the state vote. Yeah. I don't understand how they can say to the legislature, you don't need to vote on funds to pay off new bonds we sell on Wall Street. So, you know, this is Nixon's legal argument from a long, a long way back. Right. And, and he has really not spoken on it. Right. And he, and he has had his... Uh, director of administration speak on it okay. who's just cited a law and said that you know the law gives Nixon the power to um, put the state into debt and uh, w- what's interesting is um, the, the what happens if the legislature says we're not going to appropriate that money so let's say Nixon can can actually get this deal done right before the legislature can get you know, comes back into session or uh, can get a bill ready, right? Right, um, and and Nixon indeed sells the bonds, right? So th- so so now the state is indebted, right? Um, what happens w- when the appropriation comes around? Can these guys who are against this get enough people together to actually pull the appropriation out of the budget? Right. You know, the legislature has line item veto power; right. they can pull <laughs> items out of the budget. I, uh, okay, now veto is not the right word, but you know what I mean. Right, right. They they took him to court, and the judge said you filed in the wrong area, so we throw it out. Which the judge said Nixon hasn't done anything. Okay, and, and, and that's probably true. Right, but, you know he hasn't signed the whatever he needs to sign to actually sell the bonds. Got it. Now, but that's a double edged sword, right? Because once he signs them, it's too late. <laughs> so it's just a really sticky scenario. So the court said he, he hasn't done anything wrong. You can't sue him. Yeah. So Even m- though he's threatening to do something moreover, wrong. Moreover, because he hasn't done anything yet, it's not in the right jur- you know jurisdiction. You have to go back to St. Louis. Okay. And file in St. Louis because Nixon is in Cole County. Fine, you're filing in Cole County, but the issue is in St. Louis with the Dome Authority. Okay. File back in in, the, in St. Louis. I'm not sure the legislat- legislators who are angry about it are going to keep that suit going. Gotcha. But now they're talking about filibustering or something else. Exactly. It's going to be some they're type of war between the people who do want and the people who don't want. And they've told me they're going to refile suit as soon as Nixon signs something. Right. 
which is then going to put it some injunction. But again, as you say, um, the bonds are already going to be, be floated. Well, that's going to be a really interesting moment. What if they can sue j- just in the nick of time? I don't know if they can. I, th- I think that, right. that would be very difficult. Okay, so uh, and all of this is predicated on the NFL granting or Kroenke staying in St. Louis. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, they, they're they not going to do any of this without a, an owner. Right. So, uh, th- I mean, that's the... And it's not just that, McGraw. It's also, they have to they have to have a signed lease. And I will, again, so this stuff is now in writing. The tax credit applications, There's there are things that have to happen in order for those tax credits to be awarded to the stadium plan. Okay. One of them is a signed lease. Okay. So, uh, I mean, th- there is so much that still has to happen. Remember, the Edward Jones Dome... You can say whatever you want about it, but the biggest problem with the Edwards Jones Dome has nothing to do with the Jones Dome. It's the lease that our leaders cut Correct. with the Rams, you know, 20 years ago. Right. So, the I mean, you know, that is going to be as important, if not more important, than the entire right. So they have to negotiate a lease with somebody, yes. or some team, right. or whatever else. What does Peacock and Blitz and Jeff Rainford and Governor Nixon? What has the NFL told them that we don't know? And that's an impossible question to (laughs) ask. I understand that. But it seems like there's this notion that they've been, they they sort of nudge and wink and say, don't worry, the NFL says if we do everything right, they're not going to stiff us. I think, so what they have told me is that, and this is both the NFL and the task force has told me that the, the, the NFL has told the task force, if you don't do anything, if right. you don't get this plan together, we will not block. You know, we, we, it is almost certain that Kroenke will leave and take the Rams with him. Right. If you do something, if everything works, then you are in the running to keep a team. Keep a team or get a new team or something. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, Houston let the Oilers go. They gave him an expansion team. Right. Cleveland let the uh, Browns go, they gave him an expansion team. Right. Why isn't anybody talking about or forcing the NFL saying, hey, you know what? what we're just like Cleveland and, and Houston. Yeah, so the, the NFL said in the very beginning, we, we're not doing, exp- we're not talking about expansion. Right. That doesn't mean it won't happen. Right. I mean, a lot of this stuff is uh, gamesmanship, right? So, for instance, let's everybody talks about the idea of Jacksonville coming to St. Louis, right? Right. Shad Khan, the owner of Jacksonville, was a bidder on the on the Rams, right? right? So the Illinois guy. I understand why that rumor has started. Shad Khan's answer to me, to other reporters, to everyone is absolutely not. We're staying in Jacksonville. Is that true? Sure, it might be, but he also has to say that. Right. So that's the kind of thing that's happening right now. Mark Davis, I I am not moving to St. Louis. I do not want to leave. I, I don't want to go to St. Louis. Right. Is that true? Does he want to sell? He says, no, absolutely not. I don't want to sell. He has to say these things. Right. These aren't like, they don't tell us anything by them right, right, declining. Right. You know? right, right, right. But Stan Kroenke doesn't say anything and is building a stadium in Los Angeles. And we all know very well what he wants to do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all there's, right. There's no longer a question of that. Uh, yeah. So uh, one last thing for David Hunt, St. Louis Post-Dispatch reporter who's been following the stadium thing from the beginning. Um, uh, two more things. One is... Uh, There's another credible person that I'm talking to that says that the NFL owners have enough owners to block Kroenke from moving to Los Angeles. So I think that the owners are honestly evaluating the options that are going to be best for for, for the NFL and their pocketbooks. Okay. And I think that they have enough owners to block Kroenke, and I think they have enough owners to block Carson. I think they can do... Right, I mean, we are in the midst right now. They are, they are, they are right now evaluating these right. claims. Right. So, so for someone to say they know what's going to happen now, the owners don't know what's going to happen now. Right, because they're still evaluating and right. trying to figure out what's right. the best deal. Right. And but you have to wonder if 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 they side with Spanos, the owner of the uh, Chargers, they like him. There seems to be a war b- between him and Kroenke. They don't like each other. Jerry Jones is on Kroenke's side. So you're going to get this guy and that guy. And so it's almost like this sort of battle of personalities. McGraw, I think what's going to happen is, and th- this is a guess, okay? Mm-hmm. I don't want to pretend like I right. ha- have this, you know, have an inside source telling me exactly what's going on here. But I do talk to a lot of people about this. Yes. And I think what's going to happen is at the last minute, the NFL is going to know, the NFL executives are going to know the vote. Right. Right. We're talking December. Okay. And that, at that moment, 
they have the ability to cut a deal because they're going to be able to go to the owner who's going to lose and say, you're going to lose. Right. Instead of losing, we are recommending you do X. Right. That's a really interesting point. That's right. Because right when, when they know and the last minute, here's the final deal, you're losing, you're winning, can you guys want to cut a deal? Exactly. That's really interesting. Uh, lastly, David Hun, um, was it less than a year ago that Stan Kroenke announced through the LA Times that he was building a stadium? January. So it was January. So uh, more than a year ago, um, we, uh, Tim Logan and I and the LA Times at the same time ferreted out that he had bought that land. Okay. And we printed almost simultaneously. Okay, right. But he said nothing. Right. And then January, he announced... He announced the plans yeah. for a stadium. And what's really interesting is it, I think he probably knew that the task force was about to announce plans to build one here. Even though the task force wasn't officially announced to the public yet. It was. Oh, it was. November, November they were announced. Nixon appointed them in November. Okay. And and Kroenke announced like January 2nd. Okay. And they announced January 9th. I gotcha. mean, it was that close. So, so if the task force was announced a little more, a little less than a year ago. Yeah. For them to do what they've done in a year is is unbelievable. The amount of power they have shown to move the ball as close as, as they've gotten to the finish line. Yeah. So you and I were talking a little before we went on air here right. about what this, what if this kind of energy could be harnessed elsewhere. Yes. And and I think that you know again lots of criticism, lots of support for the stadium. Let's not lose sight of what we're learning from this. And one of the things we're learning from this is if people put their minds to it, like this could be a template for how to solve other problems. <laughs> Why not look at this as not just a stadium, but how to get big things done? Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> Which don't have a vote of the people or the legislature. <laughs> Yeah. You, you get I'm all not, sorts of things I'm, done. I'm not sure that that would be... Maybe we shouldn't do exactly the way things are working now. But um, <laughs> Just have Governor Nixon decide he wants to do something and then have it done. But it does show us, right, when, 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 the, when leadership wants to get something done, That's the, exactly the, right. the ends that they will go to. It is exactly right. David Hun, St. Louis Post-Dispatch. Great job, uh, as always. stltoday.com. you got pictures uh, of all the renderings, the beautiful renderings of the... Uh, new stadium, the new proposal, the bridges, the gardens, the brew pub, all of that, um, which is the proposed stadium which they're fighting with and over with the NFL. With David Hun, thanks for coming in. Always a pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you, sir. Uh, tell your uh, father-in-law I said hi. Okay. All right, good. 926 here, Big 550 KTRS.